you before the Bundesliga. Match day starts, it is 20, match day 26, starting tonight, Friday, 5th, 15th of March 2019. Um, to prove, <laughs> no. Oh, no, it's not working at all. I was trying to do. Hmm. 17.57 before the kickoff. Friday, 15th of March. Well, I may not be able to read that properly. Anyway, um, as I'm usually losing, um, I may not um, uh, be allegedly um, <laughs> um, somehow, um, what is it? Receive here, no. Pretend something, not running. Anyway, we got this twenty-sixth match day coming up, and what we see here is, as usual, my evaluations compared to markets evaluations. Just for any new uh, visitors here, I'm down two thousand four hundred fifty-five euro. Virtual money, it's just virtual money. I started match day eight. I, I did not um, provide these two match days, 12 and 20s, for a lack of time, most likely. And then the others, I'm not doing so well. Although, usually, it's, sometimes it's black here, which means I was winning, but it's more often it's getting red, so I'm losing some money. But it's just virtual money, it's like Monopoly money. Or whatever um, paper betting we can also call that but it's the perfect betting game that I propose and that I propose to everyone to maybe introduce in, into his uh, well usually uh, uh, people are in some kind of community where they do the betting on the and they bet results usually 2-1 3-0 I bet 1-1 0-0 one, one, and so on, they write down the results and they determine a winner. It's a lot better to do it the way I do it, because it's mathematically perfect. All you have to do is understand it and be able to set up these comparisons here. And everyone has to be able to distribute his 100% on the, on the possible outcomes of the games. Uh, I mean, as long as you're working with, with Excel, you could start with doing it like that. Um, you enter these two values and this is the difference. So, I mean, if I would have a new file here and I will instantly uh, zoom this one so you can follow what I'm doing. If you enter point six two one here and enter point two five three here and then you say here this is one minus this minus this then you can be pretty cer certain that first of all we enter this as percentages and in the end um, you can be pretty sure that the sum of these three, this plus this plus this, is going to be 100%. So you could start like that. You, 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 you write down the chances in an Excel sheet also for the 1 and the x, and you get automatically. If you are unhappy with this and you say, oh no, I was wrong with that, I rather want it to be 58, then this number is going to adjust as well. Um, uh, so anyone, I mean, should be able to do that, of course. Here I have my own evaluations in percent, which is reciprocal, this of this and this of that. I compile the probabilities and those are the true prices. If you want to have a look at the market or you trust these figures, then you would have a perfect chance to, to straight away start the betting. As long as you get a better price than this, this is more or less all my system. 
I'm trying to reply to those uh, questions I'm being asked and someone said he doesn't quite understand what I'm doing. Well, I mean, you, you got one leak already, here you got my true prices and if you want to start kind of professional and you want to follow my uh, advices more or less and you can say here I got the true prices somewhere else I got the market prices whenever market um, is uh, I didn't mean to have all those files open here and I once again forgot to do that mm, this one as well uh, and this one as well. I was watching my own video. <laughs> okay, so here we got a uh, betting market best prices In a certain sense there are certain bookmakers that are uh, into the uh, The entered here and if you if you sign up yourself and you get more bookmakers then you get a more bright wider variety of prices here as well, maybe what I've done so far is, here are my true prices, so if you want to start the betting, you have to check if you get a better price than what I got here. This had been my system, but if it's just one leak, and as you see in the long term this season, you most likely will not have made any profit with that, whereby this is not guaranteed, because I'm betting more or less against the market every all the nine games and if I was forced to just pick the ones that are favorable then maybe I would have a different result to that. I entered those prices here if there are differences as you see here 5.92 5.93 this means small adjustment by, by market I'm not uh, re-entering them I've done it uh, maybe half an hour ago because I just uh, started that what we have to make sure is shape these to 100%. So everyone that wants to take part in the perfect betting game needs to have 100%. Those prices are just random prices bookmakers are paying. Usually it's a sharp market, so you can say there's always uh, some, uh, well, the, the, the betting offenses are fighting each other. So as if you were selling milk and you try to be cheaper or uh, the gas station or something you want to be cheaper than the other one so you try to to to, to attract uh, punters here with attractive prices so it's it's also a pretty sharp market and and yeah mm, so you you come close to 100 percent which means um, if it were less than 100 percent then you could have with a, with a given distribution of, of bets then you could make a sure bet what it's called but this is not the case here. They are all above. They are all well above 100%. So market more or less makes sure it's not going to happen. It has been uh, possible back in the 90s, but after a while, the bookmakers found out we must be silly if we give punters a chance to uh, bet on the one office this, this, the other office this, and at the third office this, and we get some turnover, which is still false turnover. That's what it was called because it's um, misleading. You think uh, you, you get some good turnover, but it's not true because either one of them is going to lose. That's again another a different story, but I, can, I'm, I'm, I like to tell those anecdotes here and there and hope you like them and are interested. For nowadays, uh, it is different. I mean, you, you, you can't beat the market like that. If you want to, you need a different approach and it's obvious that's also some development there. What I saw was uh, quite a couple of, of betting offices going down, going broke. And why this happened, of course, yeah, plenty of reasons. I mean, you can overinvest, you, you invested too much money and you <coughs> don't get enough uh, in return. And uh, you, you overestimate the, the turnover you're gonna get. But one more reason is also that they have been making mistakes and they have been making silly mis mistakes. And as soon as some professionals are there that spot those errors, well, this is almost curtains for them. Because they also make some turnover, but they make it on 
the selected the well selected chances. So you you once again have some turnover, not on a on a on a sure bet, a three way bet, but on on just one a single price, and then uh, in the long run you're gonna lose. You get um, as much money as you want on on some of those chances as soon as the pros like myself are there and start to exploit those errors no errors anymore or if there are uh, some they are mm, oh, I'm getting a phone call I have to uh, uh, it's a very sad story and I apologize for that once again it's always happening um, okay now I enter those two prices uh, those best prices and I shake those to 100% by multiplying it with a reciprocal every single value with a reciprocal of 100 divided by now with the reciprocal of that or 100 divided by 104.08 or the respective value here um, so this changed the 158 to a 164 I tell market, you think the probability for Gladbach are to win are 60.81%. That's what I... So I, I want someone playing this perfect betting game with me. And I just found a single one, which is the worldwide betting market or the worldwide wisdom, the bulk intelligence, if you want so. And I'm fighting against this and I've not been doing well. You can still compare those, or we've done that already. Now this is shaped to 100%. Um, now I'm, I'm, I'm just giving here the, the uh, my own uh, compared with this, so we can check here. I, th I see a bigger chance for, for Stuttgart to win, or a bigger chance for Augsburg, so those should be the chances where I win money if they occur, which I can't be sure, and even more than that, I can be Pretty sure they're not gonna happen because I'm losing money whereby of course every new match day well <laughs> I can hope for better results and anyway here you see those chances here you see the easy broker here we got the same evaluation uh, on uh, Gladbach just the draw draws the difference mm. and now this is one based on 1000 euro the way to to calculate it is my probability plus your probability times the 1000 euro basic uh, turnover uh, and then we have the bet amount how to work out how much a side has to pay out is multiply the turnover of your true price minus the turnover on the other one's true price. So there's virtually no difference, it's 7.7 .7 euro because those are rounded figures. My own figures are not quite, uh, this is just rounded. If I, if I would go give more, and you see here that's the difference. So this is 1.644, I would rather have them, not 1.64. So that's where those 7 euro 70 come from. On the draw, I lose a bit. This is once again the same story. Market always says the draw is a bit more likely. Um, yeah, so far it seems market was better. Whereby I see the, the, I showed that last week that the, the draws I was assessing quite well. If I lose here, it may be because we we I omitted like ten match days, which is almost half of twenty five or ten. Yeah, it's two two fifth. 40% uh, which I omitted so in those I could have done better or it's just some other uh, reason that I'm losing here. Not getting enough outsider wins for example and um, because usually I win on the outsider. Anyway we have this this is the way to calculate it this is how you would have to set it up yourself with friends go and try it I mean you write down your chances the other one writes down his and then you need those simple, more or less simple formulas. My probability plus your. If you got th uh, three players playing, uh, you would be. Uh, it would be mine plus your plus his, so to say, from the third person as well. And then you find the turnover. 
if you want to see how much you lose, you pay to the others your price times the turnover, you get back twice their, uh, their prices. I mean, once this from this guy and once, once from the third guy. So if you're good, if your probability is better, then you're going to win money. I mean, if the event occurs where you have the higher probability. Anyway, this is what, what's going to happen. If Gladbach are going to draw, I'm going to lose. If home win or away win, I'm happy. If on the draw, I'm going to lose. In Stuttgart, Hoffenheim, I have to take Stuttgart more or less against the draw because this is meaningless. So I have to take Stuttgart against the draw. And like that, the probability for that yeah, has to be about uh, the same size for myself to be doing for fine, which uh, you can, of course, look up here. No. I'm wrong, um, because there are two chances, I, I can't say that right now. Where's the, where's the error here? No, no, I'm losing on the, okay. We are the, we got the same here, and uh, I'm, I'm, I'm winning on this, I'm losing on this, and I'm losing about the same, and here we are losing about the same. Why? Oh yeah. Well, I say this is more likely, so I would I, I would like this to happen more often than this, and there's also a small difference, because I I think it is more likely. So this is where my profit comes from. So that would be some massive profit. But if market were right, then this it would gonna because this is close to each other. Those two values, three eighty four four point one two. So it would be um, happy with that, and it's gonna collect some more money on the third chance, which is also yeah, no, you can't ne neglect that because uh, there is this small difference here, and it's gonna coll collect every now and then, well, quite often, fifty percent of the cases, as we both agree on, it's gonna collect those eleven euro extra. That's where, uh, uh, that's how to explain this payout. But mathematically, it's definitely it's waterproof, or I don't know what you say, shockproof, <laughs> waterproof. In Schalke, I'm gonna be Leipzig, not by much. This is of course a special game. Uh, to argue about this, one, I would say Stuttgart had been doing a bit better recently, while Hoffenheim are not quite getting their game, their results together. And uh, and they usually play quite well, but once again, this um, Nagelsmann leaving and announcing this maybe it's not well. It's not a hundred percent, not not quite a perfect season. Although they played some really good football. What I say on top of that, we, okay, there is a derby which is maybe favoring against uh, again Hoffenheim a bit, but you could also argue well, Hoffenheim supporters are not going there. But it will be a crowded house, more or less. So some more support for things. No, it's not, not a good point what I'm making here. I'm just saying it is a bit more likely it's gonna happen, which I actually do not know beforehand when I set up the prices. Um, here I have to say I'm, I'm. I mean this is neutral more or less, and I just saw the introduction, uh, Hugh Stevens and Mike Biskins. And this is again and again this same story. And what I say is, of course, sacking the coaches, right? And they do that. And when you look down the table, you hardly find any club that hasn't sacked the coach, right? And they, they were also trying to chop off um, Niko Kovac uh, first half of the season. When, when he draws two home games, Augsburg and Düsseldorf, that's, that's it, they more or less say. And they were they were ready. I mean, he was. Uh, yeah, this is just that Bayern München are not um, allowing this. They are not going into this, and they know why they signed him. And um, still, if the the results the Schalke produced were getting worse, whether or not the efforts or whatever that is. But now the players get the excuse because they hear every week and every day, more or less, or every half hour, they hear Tedesco is gonna, no, no, this is not gonna be, uh, he can't stay there, there's no way, and so on. And 
some at some point it's it's getting to them right if it's it's so and 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 then they start to say well if we're gonna lose again it's not my fault and if more than one player starts to think that they, it's game over it's uh, gone with the performances this is the problem and of course if they were strong enough the board they were strong enough then they would simply say we're not going to talk about the coach we tried to get the results together we were happy with the second place now last year and everyone was trying to this and Tedesco and such a good girl and everyone was and they were hyping them which was far beyond their quality. And now they all say, well, they didn't they never played well also when they were second. Why didn't they they say it then? So they got lucky there to be second. Now they are unlucky to be 14th, whereby the efforts did get worse for the named reason. Anyway, uh Hüb Stevens and Mike Buskens Bus Bus and I'm not gonna argue. I I made this prize before I knew about that. Although I can say, well, I know what's going to happen if they are going to lose at Man City and they are not, they're not just lost, they lost 7-0. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm, I think Germans are so terribly arrogant and they do not know what bad luck is. And they went out of the uh, World Cup last season, last year, and they, they didn't play any bad or worse than others. They played okay. Sometimes results are not going their way. Their way. And, uh, and it just happens. And then um, this is almost the end uh, for, for Löw and so on. But now if um, uh, arrogance uh, I was talking about. Um, anyway, uh, uh, Schalke, now they were talking in every single game with him. I mean, I hope they, they, they lose and I hope they, they lose again and again. Just until they stop talking this rubbish, and maybe they understand. Oh, wait a second. I mean, we are okay, maybe we are Germans, we did win the title here or there, and but they, all the others they are also good. And when I heard this today, three teams went out, and three to 17 was the good result against Premier League, right? The arguments, whatever they say now that they knew before that. This is rubbish. They didn't say that. They, they, they were talking about chances. Every day you could hear that. This is the way we have to approach the game. This is what we get to do. This is 3-0 by Tottenham. Okay, so we know what we have to do. And uh, three goals, well, that's... And then they lose again, like Dortmund. And then they lose again, like Bayern, when they said 0-0 is a good result. I mean, this is... It is neutral. But maybe they said in the end it was neutral. But they could be happy... The only German team that won a single point against the, the Premier League. And they can be happy because they were, you know, chest up, what do you, chin, chin up, what do you say, chin up. And um, um, they were playing okay, also the second leg, but it, sometimes results go against you. But if you're very, very objective and honest, then you have to say Liverpool look the better side. It may be by very... Some very small bits, but they were the better side. But this game could have gone either way. I mean, it was 1-1, one, one, and they, they had them reeling, uh, and, and that was close to getting the second, more or less. That, that is the time when you have to score a goal, was it, was it to be? Anyway, losing there, 1-3, 0-7, 0-3, 0-1, and so on, 3-17 altogether. And then, okay, now we've done everything wrong, German football is rubbish. Okay, we have to, everything has to change. Everything has to change. If you hear the voice, everything. And everyone does have some, some wise advice. But it's all of that is rubbish. Because they had two good results for a while. And now there are reasons, of course, for that. What I was trying to say is three teams went out. Three to seven team goals. Three 17. So you have to somehow say, well, maybe a bit. <laughs> okay, <laughs> calm down. I mean, we're not so good. But then the afternoon I hear Frankfurt will, will, will win the, the Euro, Euro, Euro League. I mean, 
shut up. I mean, I can't hear. And then they can beat Benfica, no problem. They can beat and 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 so on and and and, and also Chelsea, Arsenal, Wolf. And those are the English clubs once again. Two of them there, and they just annihilated them all. It's um, stressed. I don't know. Annihilated them. And now they they say, well, champions in Euro League. Now it's the and the way they played it was so good. Now they they are ready to win the, the Euro League. I mean, I can't hear that. So I hope they they yeah they lose. I mean, not for the players or the coaches, but for the media. All this. Silly stuff. Anyway, uh, um, Hugh Stevens and Mike Biskens, it's, it's meaningless to me. I, yeah, I'm, I'm happy if Leipzig are going to win because I don't want to support this coach sacking. In Augsburg Hanover, I'm one and two. This is very strange. Maybe they say because Augsburg could be happy or it's a... Here I see more goals, I see a less likely draw. And market says this is going to be a draw. Maybe because they are both so low in the table. But what I would say is it's time for Hanover for a desperation mode. Uh, some kind of, I mean, a draw here. Uh, well, who would you like to beat? Of course they would take it now because they say not, not lose again, please. But anyway, they, they have to at some point risk a bit. Nine games to go and it's a couple of points behind <laughs> I have to open the table, which I'm not going to do now. And in Wolfsburg Düsseldorf, I simply will take Düsseldorf once again, the outsider. I'm not losing this much here, while I win quite a bit on the on the outsider chance, which is obvious. But um, I'm going to take them. I I also like their, their play against Frankfurt when they lost nil four. No nil. What was the result? I can't even remember. But the, but they they clearly lost at home to Frankfurt nil three nil. And um, still, I like them. Two bad decisions by referees, both uh, when, the, when the scoreline was still okay in their favor. And so I'm going to take this off happily. If you, to answer this question, I mean, here you get 4.58. Now you simply compare. And if you get, uh, this is 3.87. This price has changed now, right? Market. So market going my way a bit. Anyway, no, this is uh, this is the market price. This has been the shape price to 100%. So maybe it's still stable. Anyway, this could be a bet. So for anyone who wants to, you know, I, I'm, I'm going to tell you, it is an outsider chance. You win less than one out of four. No, you win more than one out of four, I would say. But this is still uh, going to happen first, right? But you get some decent return for that. Um, so someone spying for a bet, spying out for a bet, right? This, yeah, somehow suggestion. Uh, Hata, but you can do that for every uh, game, the same thing, right? To answer this question, if I show you my true prices, this is like, you know, you can use it and later on uh, curse me. And I don't know if you can unsubscribe. Most likely, you will unsubscribe if you did subscribe. <laughs> anyway, um, um, in Hertha, I have to take Hertha. Once again, the same story. Uh, Dortmund always uh, get too good results. Now they don't get the, the results anymore, but uh, it's still a bit exaggerated. But they had been unlucky. So in this case, I have to say, well, I'm not so certain about this this one. But it's just the uh, yeah. It's a bet by figures, I sometimes say. Um, I have to take Hertha here. Because I think Dortmund lost too often now and, and they, they for some good performances, right? When they were in the, on their winning streak and they didn't play well, I would say, okay, happily against them, try again. But when they start losing and play well, well, I would rather support them. Uh, but. It's not by figures, so I have to take Hertha, but I like them, they are playing well. Still, uh, as I said, maybe it's time for Dortmund now to turn good effort into a result. We will see. In Leverkusen, I have to take Werder. I strongly take support this, like the Düsseldorf one. It's got to happen first. Market simply hyping Düsseldorf now for the couple of wins. 
and football looks good and Bosch always you know this is attractive football and I keep saying that but usually they still have a hard time here those Dutch coaches in Germany because they can't understand those silly questions and they get more and more you know like as Hugh Stevens I mean yeah, I don't want to answer your silly questions think of a better question then maybe we can be friends um, in Frankfurt, I'm gonna take Frankfurt, that's fine. I think it is, I mean, as I said last week already, the gap is getting too big. Frankfurt are playing well, maybe for the Thursday game, they invested some money, they got some distraction, so to say, by winning at Inter Milan and so on. But uh, still, I think this is very, very professional and they they sense a chance to, to get into the Champions League, which would be uh, yeah, a major success. And in Bayern, I even take Bayern this time. I can't say why market. I can maybe you can say because of they lost uh, on on Wednesday and now they are shaken. I would I would turn it around. I would say they took over at the table, and now they got full focus. One thing, but they also would like to reestablish their confidence. And it is a matter of goal difference as well, the title race now. Uh, I mean, it's too many games actually for Dortmund to, to hold the pace. But um, but um, for now, you, you wouldn't, if you were in Bayern's shoes, you wouldn't say, well, 1-0 would do. I mean, Dortmund went 2-0 and, and they are come close, or even 4-0 and take over again. Also, you wouldn't think like that. No, no, we win the title anyway. Um, so it's a matter of goal difference. When you're level on points and you got just two goals better, uh, then you would say, well, let's rather score some goals if we can. And after that uh, midweek, midweek loss, and um, it is focus here and confidence maybe shaken, of course, but this is replaced by focus. And then there is this tiny little bit of, so to say, being a bit angry. I mean, we, we know we can uh, play good football. And now we would also sh show minds, but also show the world, because the world are watching when Bayern play. And so the, for me, this, I mean, I, you shouldn't talk about this, uh, those minor differences here for too long. Uh, if this is gonna happen, uh, you see how much I'm gonna lose. So it's gonna be a bad day again. This is gonna happen, but I, as I said, I see a higher probability. This time it's three and a half percent, and I say it's bigger that Bayern are gonna win. So I will take them. So now we're through with that, and I'm I'm trying, of course, when I, when you say okay, he's getting sidetracked, he's talking about this and that. As I said, I would like to introduce some more football knowledge and understanding, and also something more about the. Uh, the reporting here of football in Germany on football and also about uh, football mind football knowledge and get some more into the uh, into play here somehow and uh, and uh, so you would have to put up with it but I, I hope still you can uh, take something from that so thanks a lot for watching share like comment subscribe I know these now <laughs> thanks a lot if you do so as well